Yep. Everyone's got an opinion on this one, Peter. I'm sure you do too. Well, it's not always true though, is it? That more well, people watch the men's sport than the women's. It depends no. on the games and the players. And I'm surprised at the angle he's gone with this argument because there has been a lot of discussion about the sets. You know, men play five sets or up to five sets. Women play up to three sets. Yeah, do you think grass one runners should be paid more than 100 meter sprinters? Well, no, you want men's and women's well, they're running to be paid the same because they're running the same distance. But does that matter? Really? I, mean, I think it's different to event to event. I mean, to the extent that I can tolerate this argument, I think, frankly, in today's world, you probably just have to you know, make it even so that you don't get into these debates personally. But if you're going to have the debate, you need to do it on the economic realities of the sport, don't you? If, if it's going, if you are going to have some differentiation, which I'm not in favour of, no. if you're going to do it, it's got to just be a pure case of, X amount of dollars is brought in from one versus the other, and I mean, you know, but netballers don't make what cricketers make, for example. It's very easy for him to say that, but the games are scheduled so there's a men's and a women's match on the same time. The only time you'll really see them at separate, so you can't really separate, separate nights is a final. When, but I thought that they had this final. debate years ago and they settled it. I mean, this bloke clearly is not going to be in a job this time. Stuck in the time. past. Stuck in the past, big time. Uh, very quickly, what's Novak Djokovic well, doing? Yeah, he, should, he shouldn't have said what he said either. Uh, quickly before I go, uh, the Socceroos and Matilda's got together today because the Socceroos have got a World Cup qualifier against Tajikistan and Adelaide, so they're down by the shore. Get hot in that. Uh, yeah, so they've got a new outfit. Uh, that's They've got the tracksuit on oh, there right. and they slowly strip it off and, and show. So we're talking about the Aussie um, men's and women's football teams. So this is Nike's their big um, uh, outfit provider. So there you go. It's a bit that's lean these days, isn't it? Pretty simple. Oh, I, 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 have no, I have no clue. Do you like it? I don't know. Why are the women not wearing Aussie green and gold? Well, this is the thing. They've just gone there. Well, the, and the guys like the blue. And the, so they've gone the blue and the gold. They've stuck with that. Right. Anyway, we're going to debate that on Sports Night later this evening. The hard hitting issues. Don't miss that. Yeah. <laughs> Except in tennis. Oh, I'm all for that debate. That's a fascinating one, but don't spend too much time on that. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Tim. I've lost a few viewers just in chat. Yes, right. All right, <laughs> thanks, Greg. <laughs> Coming up after the break, we'll be speaking with John Roscoe from the Institute of Public Affairs. Back in a second.